Hey guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math channel. And today I'm going to really talk about um, trigonometry in terms of amplitude, periods, and shift. So what do I basically mean by that is that you know normally, for example, you'll be given uh, sort of like a particular equation such as y is equals to a um, sine bx plus c. All right. And then they will ask you to identify what is your A and what is your B and what is your C given the curve itself. So let's say this is a curve, all right, and then uh, you have this particular example and then you have this curve, right, this basic curve itself. And let's say this is 180 degrees and this is 2, all right, and that's about it. Right, so how do we go about identifying what is my A, what is my B, and what is my C? And at the same time, this video will actually teach you what is the amplitude of a sine curve, what is the period of a sine curve, and what is the shift of a sine curve. Well, so let's just tackle, you know, what is A, what is B, or what is C. So basically, A is, uh, this is basically the amplitude, right? So if you were to see the equation itself, whatever coefficient that is here, all right, is it represents the amplitude. So the amplitude basically means is it is the maximum um, vertical distance. Okay, okay, of any point from the curve to the x-axis all right that will be the amplitude so in this case itself all right my amplitude is uh, 2 okay my amplitude is 2 because that is the maximum distance right uh, my amplitude is 2 and of course this the amplitude is also 2 all right from here to here the amplitude is 2 as well but do take note there's this one particular thing all right if let's say the curve turns out to be the other way the other direction such as this right your A itself will not be the, uh, will be the amplitude, yes, okay, but it has to be negative amplitude, all right? Why? Because what happens to the Y value here, it got flipped over, all right, o over the X axis itself. So in this case, if let's say, okay, if the question is given, okay, this, but with this red dotted curve itself, your A will be negative 2 instead of 2. So what is C then? All right. So C basically means is the vertical shift of the curve. All right. So this vertical shift can be a negative vertical shift and a positive vertical shift. So if it is a positive vertical shift, that means that these solid lines will shift upwards itself. Okay, to this black dotted line down here. All right. Okay. So this will represent a vertical positive vertical shift. All right. Um, if it's a negative vertical shift, it will be these solid lines that will shift downwards. All right. So C itself in the equation is the vertical shift. Okay. Before before I talk about B, first thing first, I need to talk about what is the definition of a period. So period is basically okay the horizontal length of one complete cycle. Alright, so the period is basically the horizontal length of one complete cycle and usually for sine itself, alright, for this usually the case for sine, um, one complete cycle. Okay, the length is actually 360 degrees. Alright, so for sine itself. For cosine itself, one cosine one complete cycle is also three hundred and sixty. Whereas for tangent, one complete cycle is how much? Okay, one complete cycle for tangent is only hundred and eighty. Okay, so let's say for example, if you are given this uh, particular question and uh, this particular question itself. All right, I should have drawn this, but this particular question itself. So what is my period? So basically my period itself is 180. And in order to find B, all right, so B itself is basically equals to, so B itself is basically 360 over period. So in this case, the period is 180, which is the one complete cycle, okay, 
uh, in horizontal length. So B is basically 360 over 180 and that will be give us to 2. So always remember in order to find B itself basically you have to take okay the 360 for sine and cosine over period but if it is tangent is one complete cycle is 180. So 180 over the period. That's about it for this video itself. The amplitude is A. The B to find B itself is basically uh, one 360 over period for sine and cosine, while 180 over period for tangent. While shift itself is basically the vertical shift uh, upwards and downwards, which is represented by C. That's it for the video. Thank you guys for listening. And if you guys got any question in regards to this, do comment in the comment section below. I'm Bob signing off from here. And goodbye, guys.